everyone, today we will be going over how to set up an H100 plus inverter uh, to PID. So what I'm going to begin with is showing you how to reset the drive. This is a commonly asked question, um, so I'm going to just begin there. So the way to do it is you're going to press mode until you see CNF at the top left. Next, you're going to go to CNF 43. So if you're having any issues with parameters floating around, I recommend checking CNF 43, ensuring that's on basic. Next, go to CNF 40. We're going to go parameter initialization. We're going to go to all groups, program enter. And we have initialized the drive. So now let's go back to the main screen. First step here is to ensure that you have your motor parameter set. So we're going to go to DRV. Well, we're going to lower our acceleration time for demonstration purposes. We're going to go to DRV 6 as well, just to ensure that um, our PID loop will be able to begin using our keypad. You do not need to change um, this source if you have some sort of external source, but for this demonstration, we are using a keypad. So next, for motor parameters, we're going to go to DRV14. This is going to be our motor horsepower. In our case, it is correct at 2 horsepower. Next, we're going to press the right arrow. We're going to go into BAS. We're going to go to BAS11. That will be our pole number. We have a two-pole motor. Next, we're going to go BAS 13. This is this will be our rated current or full load amps. We have it correct. Next, we're going to go to BAS 15. Motor voltage. This will be at 230. That is correct. Lastly, BAS 19 AC inputs. This is the input to the drive. 240 volts is correct again. So now we are done setting up our motor parameters. Let's begin setting up PID. We're going to press mode, press the right arrow key until you see PID on the top of the screen. First thing we need to do is turn on PID, so go PID 1, set that to yes. Next, we will go to PID 10, ensure that the reference source is the same. Um, ensure that your reference source is correct. So in our case, we are using keypad for reference. PID 11 is going to be our PID set point. We will come back to this at the end. PID 20 will be your PID feedback source. In our case, we are using I2. We have a 4 to 20 milliamp signal coming into the drive. So we will be using I2. Now we have a few parameters to adjust the PID loop. Here we have the proportional gain, and we have uh, the integral, which, which will um, adjust the time aspect of the PID loop. 36 is if you, for uh, any reason, need to invert the PID loop, essentially make it function in reverse. Uh, of how a typical PID loop works, this is where you would uh, make that switch. PID 50 is going to be our unit selection. In our case, PSI is good, and uh, there's a multitude of units available for this drive. I'll scroll through them so you're able to see. We have kilopascals, RPMs, voltage, kilowatts, horsepower, etc. Next is our PID unit scale. Um, we are okay setting this at 10x. Next we have our PID units and PID unit again. So 52 and 53 are going to be your um, the range of your transducer. In our case, we have a 0 to 100 PSI transducer. So we will put 0 on 52. 100 on 
Next is your minimum pump speed. So this is an important parameter to be aware of. Um, in many cases, um, you are required to have this because it serves as a lower limit so you do not burn up your pump. So let's set this to about 20 hertz. And this is this is essentially when your pump will begin set, uh, building pressure. Next, we have a wake-up level type deviation. What this means is that your wake-up level will have a plus or minus um, PSI. So whatever you set your wake-up level to, it will function as a it will function as a bandwidth between plus or minus that level. So I'll explain that a little bit more once we get to it. But here we have our sleep activation level at 58. And what this does is it tells the drive to start looking for sleep and for the sleep function. Again, we'll put this at about 20 hertz. Um, I highly recommend setting this feature because you do not want to you don't you do not want your drive to go into sleep as it's ramping up. So let's set this to 20. Next we have our sleep level type. Um, it is originally set for output frequency and in our case we will be using output frequency. Essentially this is what the drive is referencing um, to see when the when it needs to go to sleep. So in our case we want it to refer to um, frequency. Next we have PID sleep delay time. And by the way, um, the basic PID loop has been complete and the setup has been complete. All you have to do is get to PID 56 and you will be done. I'm adding a sleep function here, uh, which you are more than welcome to follow along with. Our sleep delay time. This is how long the drive will allow uh, itself to to output those specific frequencies that men that are mentioned earlier before it goes to sleep. So here we're gonna set this to 15 seconds. Let's give it some time. Make sure that it's um, it's able to to react appropriately and not prematurely. Next we have our PID sleep level. So when do we want the drive to go to sleep? For this example, we're gonna put it to, to 40 hertz. And what this means is if the drive is under 40 hertz for 15 seconds, it will go to sleep. Next we have our PID wake up delay time. We're gonna set this a bit lower. And what this does is, it, this is how long it will allow the drive to be within that wake-up uh, bandwidth that we spoke about earlier um, b before waking up. So three seconds. And here is the wake-up level. As mentioned earlier, this is going to be um, a plus or minus the set point. So here we have, let's set this to about 4 PSI. So we're going to make our set point 6 PSI. What that means is if this goes minus 4 away from 6, it's going to wake the drive up in 3 seconds. I highly recommend boosting this a bit higher just to make sure that your drive isn't continuously going in and out of sleep. So lastly, let's go back to PID 11 and make our set point. Let's put it to six here for demonstration purposes. And now we can exit back to the main screen. Last thing I want you to do, uh, I highly recommend you doing, is going and changing uh, what you see on the screen. So these three command lines can be changed. The way to do that is to go to the CNF group, load, 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 CNF. We're gonna go to CNF 22. 
So we have a set to set point value, and that's what I recommend. It's going to be 18. See enough, 23 is going to be the third monitor line. I have that set to feedback value. Again, you can choose whatever you need here. There's a bunch of different options, but these are, in my opinion, the easiest to see visually for a PID setup. So now let's go into uh, let's go into the demonstration. We're going to press auto twice. As you see, it's ramping up, it's, and it's uh, it's trying to reach that set point of six psi. Okay, so what that showed us is that the drive is not ramping up fast enough uh, f before going to sleep. So uh, I, I, I mentioned that earlier, we want our acceleration time to be a bit quick or at least faster than our delay time. So the way we can do that is we can go to mode we can increase our acceleration time here. Or sorry, reduce it. Let's make it three seconds. The other way to do it is you go to the PID group and you go to the PID delay time, which was down here. PID sleep delay time. So we can put this to Let's put this to 20 seconds. So while we're here, let's also change the PID sleep level. And the drive is going to sleep way too quickly. So let's change this to 30, 30 mm, let's say about 32. Okay, let's allow the drive to pick up and go past this level. Let's try that one more time. There we go. Excellent. So now we are past our sleeping point. Uh, the drive is trying to pick up the PSI up to six. And there we go, so it's going to maintain this range. If we open up the pump, we're going to lose some pressure for that reason, the drive will pick up the speed and try to maintain that 6 psi. As you can see, it's floating right around the 6 psi. Back up. And we'll drop back down to six psi again, reducing the speed on the way.
Excellent. And there you have it. Um, that is how you set up PID on an H100 Plus. Thank you and have a good day.